Construction is well underway at the site of the Atlanta Public Safety Training Center. Atlanta police and fire officials say they're excited about the state of the art facility. But frustrated over the ongoing efforts to halt the project. Fox 5's Deidre Dukes joins us live at Atlanta City Hall. Deidre, you sat down with the leaders of Atlanta's police and fire departments. What did they tell you about the project? Now they tell me the project is on track to be completed on time and they say a training center is long overdue for a, the city the size of Atlanta giving the population here and the number of major events we host annually. This isn't a, it would be nice to have, this is a must have to be properly staffed and to be properly trained to protect this city, the best city in the country, Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta Police Chief Darren Shearbaum is speaking out following a recent effort by Atlanta City Council members Keisha Waits and Ileana Bakhtiari to introduce legislation that would allow Atlanta residents to vote on whether to build a new public safety training center. It's my feeling that the voters, not the mayor, not the council, should make these decisions when it comes to spending. $67 million and making decisions for our government and our city. And so when you have a mayor and two city councils uh, by a super majority back this project, two mayors and two city councils, that is uh, the opinion of the vast majority of Atlantans. Chief Shearbaum and interim fire chief James McLemore say the state of the art facility now under construction is crucial to their department's efforts to hire, train and retain highly qualified police and firefighters. Making that investment uh, uh, is vital um, in recruitment, training, retention, and all of it. Because if you look around in other jurisdictions, they're making that investment. And to be able to handle daily operations and the growing number of special events the city hosts year round. Throughout the year, we've hosted Super Bowls. We have the uh, soccer tournament, FIFA coming uh, in 26, I believe. We've had um, conventions weekly here where we have large amount of people. So we have to be prepared. While there is much focus on the benefit for police and fire, Chief Shearbaum says there's a lot at stake for the people who rely on those services. I think we talk about uh, a training center and firefighters, police officers, and we forget the caller to 911. Because every year, 1.1 million people will dial 911 in this city. And there will be a number of emergencies playing out. The real people that lose is the caller to 911 if we do not get the public safety training. Now, dozens of people signed up to speak during today's uh, public comment uh, portion of this today's uh, city council meeting, uh, voicing their support or opposition to the project as efforts do continue to derail the training center. That's latest for Atlanta City Hall. Deidre Dukes, Fox 5 News. All right, Deidre, uh, thanks for the latest from City Hall there. Let's